In this video, we're going to look at how to use sets in Java to remove duplicates from an array list. So I have a, a brief program that demonstrates how to do this. So here we have this data list that I'm going to initialize with these values. And you notice that several of the items have duplicates in them. And we're going to print that data list before we do anything else. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just transfer that list into a set. Here I've used a hash set. Notice that a list can be used to initialize the hash set. And likewise, uh, a hash set can also be used to initialize a list. And that's handy because it dramatically reduces the amount of code I have to write to remove these duplicates. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create the hash set using the array list as the initializer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the set that I've created and put it back into a new array list and I'm going to print the new array list. So the two things that are going to get printed is the original array list and the new array list. Let's just do that right now and uh, see what happens. And here is the original array list with the duplicates in it. And you can see that the revised version has had the duplicates removed. Now, I just want to point out something important here. You notice that the 2 and the 33 have swapped positions. And likewise, the, uh, the 8 and the 7 have also swapped positions. And the reason for that is that when you have a set in Java, there is a no guarantee. Uh, especially with this uh, hash set, there's no guarantee of order. That's what set, set means in mathematics. There's no order that's guaranteed. And so if preserving the order is important when you're removing the duplicates, this trick is, is not something you're going to be able to use. Uh, so that's going to be our first demonstration of how to uh, remove the duplicates. Now, the other way I want to show you is just a slight variation on this theme. And here, instead of using uh, a hash set as the intermediate data structure, uh, I'm going to use a tree set. And the one thing that's different about this, let's just compile and run this and see what happens. You'll notice that the one thing that's different is that the resulting array list is now guaranteed to be sorted in natural order. And the reason for that is that when we transfer it into the tree set, uh, it, the data becomes stored inside a binary search tree, which is used to store the set. So even though, uh, mathematically speaking, a set is not supposed to have order, uh, a tree set does have order. And so the, uh, the tree set, when you put it into the tree set, will automatically sort the set. And then when you transfer that sorted set back into the array list, the resulting array list will also come out sorted. Okay. So uh, to review, uh, you can use these tricks to remove duplicates from an array list. If you use a hash set, you won't get any particular predictable order in the array list that you end up with. If you use a tree set, the, the final array list that you end up with will be in naturally sorted order. Thank you.